Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Mandy. I am a mom of three, full-time working mom. And this week I am sharing with you what we ate for dinner. The past two weeks we have been on a very, excuse the dog, we've been on a very tight budget grocery shopping wise. So we are trying to use up stuff that's in our fridge, or freezer and pantry just to get us through a little bit longer. So if you like these types of videos, please give me a thumbs up and let me show you what we ate this week. All right, we are starting off the week with some pizzas for lunch. I think this is Friday afternoon. I'm just gonna throw this pepperoni pizza and the Supreme pizza in the oven, and we are going to have these brats for dinner. All right, and we are, go I am uh, actually meal prepping here. This is just non-fat Greek yogurt, the Faye non-fat Greek yogurt. I mixed it with about a little over half of this package of sugar-free cheesecake flavored Jello pudding. And I also put a cup of milk in there because I found that the pudding and the yogurt by itself was just too thick. Now for dinner, we did not have the brats on that night. I actually skipped a night. On this night, we're having ribs and baked beans and some like street corn. And I believe this is Sunday morning now. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm mixed up on my days. But I made a big breakfast, hoping that it would last a couple days and um, the kids could eat on it a little bit during the week. But I think there was one pancake left. I had chocolate chip pancakes bacon, hash browns, eggs, and that was it. So there's the bacon, hash browns. I had chocolate chip pancakes and plain pancakes, and then I just fried up some eggs. I really enjoy making big breakfast on the weekends, and I think everybody else does too. Clayton doesn't like pancakes, so I did make him some toast. All right, so after breakfast, I went ahead and did a little bit more meal prep meal prep meal prep for the week i bought this spaghetti squ spaghetti squash yeah and i put it in the instant pot um i've done this before i like it in the instant pot it makes it nice and soft and i don't have to worry about it not being cooked all the way through it comes out of the the peel really easily and i also save some of these seeds i'm the only one in my family that likes spaghetti squash I don't really know why, like, I guess maybe it's a texture. I don't know, I really enjoy it, but I'm gonna save some of these seeds and I am going to attempt to grow some spaghetti squash this year because why not grow something else that I don't have to buy at the grocery store? It sounds really good to me. So I just picked a few of these out. I put them on a paper towel and I set them in a window and uh, I'm just letting them dry out. I might plant one this weekend. While I was waiting for that to cook, I whipped up some cookie dough. This is actually a copycat recipe for crumble cookies. Look at this egg, you guys. <laughs> Clayton's been drawing on an egg, and I love opening it up and finding it. But like I said, this is a copycat crumble chocolate chip cookie. He's made nice, big cookies they were crunchy on the outside and soft in the middle and I really liked them now <laughs> the spaghetti squash has been sitting in the instant pot for a while and you can see it is very very soft oh steamed you up a little bit there so I'm gonna let this cool off for a few minutes because it's way too hot to handle and I'm going to just scoop it out of the skin with a spoon and then I just like take two forks and try to break it up a little bit. I'm gonna add some of this roasted garlic um, Alfredo sauce. This is 90 calories for a fourth of a cup. I, I like the ragu pasta, the pasta sauce and the Alfredo sauce. And I'm also gonna add some of this Parmesan cheese. I don't know why I'm showing you the nutrition facts, but there you go. A fourth of a cup <laughs> per serving and only one, one carb, so that's not bad. I bagged up the cookies 
in individual snack bags because nobody needs more than one of these. And look, we finally had brats. We had them with a box of rice a trying to get it out of the pantry because we just don't really eat it anymore. And what else did we have with this? I can't remember a salad, I think, but here I am just scooping the insides out of the spaghetti squash. This is really easy if you haven't done it before. And I really, like I said, I really like the flavor of spaghetti squash. It tastes like squash and you can add lots of other things to it, like the Alfredo sauce and some garlic and Parmesan, and you can make it taste like something else. It's really good. And it's a better option than a bowl full of pasta, I feel like, even though I still just want a bowl of pasta, you guys. <laughs> the desire to just have a bowl of pasta does not go away, but the, I can eat this. This It's good. It's good to me. All right, so I'm trying to keep my lunches pretty low calorie and low carb, but I did measure out some of this Parmesan cheese, 28 grams, I think is what I put on there. And then I think I put two servings of the Alfredo sauce, and then I split this up into three containers. So, it, I mean, it, it ends up being very low calorie. And it tastes good. So if you're looking for a healthier option that's a little bit lower calorie, you guys should try it. It is really good. I also seasoned this with some pepper and garlic powder and this is it all ready to go in the fridge so I've been picking lettuce and spinach and kale out of the garden I'm not getting a lot but you know it really makes a huge difference adding your homegrown greens to like a store-bought salad the kale gives it a little extra crunch and the I don't know they have such a good like strong flavor we have really been enjoying it and they taste so fresh like you buy a bag salad you know it's been sitting in the bag for a little while but you can taste that this is you know freshly picked it's not waterlogged or anything it's just it's really good you guys i'm really liking the garden fresh lettuce definitely want to plant more next year and I grew these radishes too. These are breakfast radishes. I will not grow them again, but we do like the regular radishes. So I will continue to grow those. I just slice them up and look at this salad. Now this was just a chopped um, salsa ranch salad kit, I think, but yes, added in some home homegrown goodness. So yum, we had that with our brats. All right, and here it all is, salad, that long grain and wild rice. I also had some quail in the freezer that I needed to use up, so Clayton barbecued those with some garlic butter. And we have the brats. All right, now for Monday, we just grilled some chicken breasts. We had some more salad with all the toppings. I made some peas, and this is a box pasta roni mix. And on Tuesday night, I made ham a homemade hamburger buns. This was a really quick, like 40 minute hamburger, hamburger bun recipe. And although I think I could fix it a little bit, make it a little better, they were delicious. These are like mock Philly cheese steaks. There's peppers and onions and ground beef with some provolone cheese, so good. All right, and this is Wednesday night. I actually got to get out in the garden after work tonight and pick some of this beautiful kale and romaine lettuce, and there's some, like, butterhead lettuce in here, some spinach. Oh, my gosh, this bowl makes me very, very happy. I also had a few radishes that I picked, and I'm going to use some of these carrots and cabbage to add, like, some crunch to my salad. I really enjoy chopping everything up like a chopped salad. It's just so much easier to eat, but oh my gosh, you guys, Clayton and I mainly have really been enjoying these fresh salads. They are so filling and I don't know, can I say fresh again? <laughs> so fresh, so delicious. I did add some more cabbage because 
Uh, I don't know. I, I really like a little uh, crunch on my salads. And with the salad, Clayton made this homemade rice dish. I don't know what to call it. It has bacon and some poblanos from the garden last year that I put in the freezer. Onions, um, some home canned chicken broth. Really, really good. And he also marinated some chicken breasts and grilled them. This is my plate. I have cranberries and candied pecans on top of my salad because oh if you haven't tried it it's so good and i'm having a club soda so this is dinner tonight all right and this is thursday night just a quick and easy meal we were gonna have leftover chicken but wesley had ended up eating it all at lunchtime so i threw these um I don't know, hot dogs in, wrapped in the croissants. What do you call them? Pigs in a blanket, I guess, in the oven. And we had leftover salad and rice. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this What We Ate for Dinner this week. See you next time.